on the roof. So we got this guy here. It's not cooling. I think it's this guy. I hope it's this guy, but basically it's just circulating air. Uh, they said that the airflow is kind of weak, so um, I do see water coming out of there. Condenser's not running, so let's see what's going on with this. I'm going to open that up. I have a feeling it might be frozen, but I could be wrong. So let's see. Here we go. All right, well, sure enough, it's frozen. So now we got to find out why our compressor's not kicking on. It's probably off on a low-pressure trip, uh, but usually it would be running so let's go ahead and take a look all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing defrosted I'm just gonna cycle the fan and uh, I'm gonna show you right now here's a video of me uh, showing you the filter so the filters plug check it out so here's the filter I just pulled out check that out there's the Sun can't see through it at all if I scratch it that's how bad it is they told me they just changed it. Dang, that thing was nasty. You couldn't even see the sun through it. Um, so that's probably what caused our freezing. So we're going to go ahead and help this get defrosted. And then uh, we'll kick it on, make sure our pressures are good. And then call her a day. She's almost there. It's not terrible. Man, that filter was plugged. We got that nasty filter changed out. Got all our probes hooked up. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this panel back on. And we'll go ahead and reconnect the Y. Because uh, I have it disconnected, so I just wanted the fan to run. So we'll go ahead and wire that back up, and it should kick on. And then uh, we'll check our refrigerant now that we have a clean filter in there. All right, so these are our pressures. Um, well, actually, I'm sorry, this is our temperature. So we got about 28. Now, keep in mind that that's, like, right at the coil. Um, our head pressure is actually kind of high, and that's on a liquid line. That's not our discharge. Uh, nicely, this, uh, this unit actually has a real liquid line hookup right there, not the discharge. So we have high head pressure. Um, another indication of high head pressure is, I did notice that, I don't know if you can hear this, but I can hear the air coming out. It's like fluctuating. It's like, whoa, 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 right? So that tells me that my coil's probably plugged. So let's go ahead and open up this coil and take a look at it. So this is just one coil. It's pretty, it's pretty plugged. So that explains our high head pressure. So we're gonna have to put in a quote to get this uh, cleaned. And I don't even know if there's water on site. I'm gonna pull off the rest of them and just check all of them. Yeah, so you can see this condenser coil is completely just plugged with crap. And I'm gonna have to wash this with water. There's no way we're using a coil cleaner on this. Um, some places you can use a no rinse, but this is terrible. So this, this whole call is due to lack of maintenance. Look at this, look how packed that is. Especially with these spine fin coils, they just get plugged up so easily. You gotta wash them every year. Yeah, so th this side's not as bad, but I mean, it's still pretty packed, look at that. Yeah, I could barely feel any air moving through it. So yeah, so they got cooling now, but I mean, they're gonna end up blowing up their compressor. And this unit's not that old. It's only, uh, what's the date on it? I just saw it, uh, 2017. So six years old, I mean, look at that. They're gonna blow up the compressor. And today it's only 90 degrees. So on a hundred degree day, oh man, it's gonna trip that high pressure switch. So anyway, we're going to put in a quote to clean this coil, uh, but they are back up and running. They are cooling. Our pressures are not at freezing point anymore, and that filter is nice and clean. So um, I put in a brand new one. So yeah, anyway, hopefully this helps you out, but you can tell what's going on with the system just by looking at your refrigerant pressures, as you saw. Um, you can also tell by listening. I don't know if it shows up on, on uh, camera or if you can hear it, but listen. I don't know if you can hear the wind, like the air is actually going whoop, 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 whoop. And if you feel it, you can actually feeling it, you can feel it fluctuate. So it's blowing and then not blowing and then blowing. So there's, you can use your other senses to kind of, you know, diagnose stuff. Your eyes, your nose, and your ears, as well as, you know, your sense of touch. You can feel things and touch things. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.